Welcome to part of the class on Old Testament survey. We begin in the Old Testament where there are 66 books, 39 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New Testament. We have a sequence of numbers to remember, 5, 12, 5, 5, 12, 5, 21, 1. The first five is the books of Moses called the Pentateuch. And the next, the 12 is the books of history. Next five books of the Old Testament is poetry. The next five is major prophets. And the last 12 are the minor prophets. Then when we get to the New Testament, we have 5, 21, 1, five books of history, 21 letters, and one book of prophecy. So let's review that one more time. In the Old Testament, there are 39 books, and we divide them into 5, 12, 5, 5, 12. Five books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. That's first five. The next 12 is the books of history. The next five is poetry. The next five is major prophets. And the next 12 is the minor prophets. Then we find in the New Testament, 5, 21, 1, five books of history, 21 letters, and one book of prophecy. In the Pentateuch, which is five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Genesis is the book of beginnings. Exodus is the book of deliverance. Leviticus is the book of worship. Numbers is the book of wanderings. And Deuteronomy is the second law. In Genesis, we find four events and four figures. The first 11 chapters is the creation, the fall, the flood, and the Tower of Babel, Genesis 1 to 11. Genesis 12 through 50 is four personages, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. Now we come to get beyond Genesis, we come to the beginning of the Jewish nation. And so we start out with 4,000 years ago, the glory of God appeared to Abraham. God called Abraham out of the Ur of Chaldees. And Abraham left with us salt of the earth, Sarah, Abraham, Lot, and Terah. They traveled the fertile crescent and came to Haran, and there Terah died. Then they came into the, what we call the promised land, or named as Canaan. And there in Canaan is the Sea of Galilee, the Jordan River, the Dead Sea, and the Great Sea. Abraham, with two eyes of faith, had two sons. One was Ishmael, who was the child of the flesh, whose mother was Hagar. Secondly, the, was Isaac, who was a child of promise, was the son of Sarah. So Isaac had two sons, Esau, who was hairy, and Jacob, who was an old smoothie, who later worshipped God. God blessed Jacob with twelve sons, which became the twelve sons of Israel. And, and famine drove the family down to Egypt, where they were there in bondage for four hundred years. But God raised up a deliverer named Moses, who said to Pharaoh, Let my people go. Pharaoh says, No way. God sent them ten plagues. They left Egypt and crossed the Red Sea. Then they came down here to Mount Sinai where God gave them the law, the moral, the civil, and the ceremonial. He also gave them instruction for building the tabernacle, which was served by the priests and the Levites. They traveled from Mount Sinai to a place called Kadesh Barnea, which is in the wilderness. There they sent out twelve spies. When the report came back, ten said no, but two said go, who was Joshua and Caleb. They wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. God fed them manna and quail, and a generation died. Then Moses led them to the top of the Dead Sea, to Mount Nebo, and there Moses preached three long sermons, and Moses died. God raised up another deliverer named Joshua. They crossed the Jordan River, conquered Jericho, then they went south and north, and they conquered the land, in seven years, and then they divided the land among the twelve tribes of Israel.